Hey, um, it's now just after one o'clock. I've got to find somewhere quiet to stand, uh, notably the Cadillac stand, uh, which is pretty empty. Yeah. Um, all the busyness over kind of there ish is all Audi. Um, and as you can see, there's the new Cadillac thing. Gosh, that's how much interest I've taken. Um, there. The rest of the place is absolutely stowed out. Um, Weissmann, Subaru further over pretty much, Volkswagen you don't even want to go near. Um, it's quite funny actually, Skoda's just the other side of Bentley there and they've got a really really busy stand. Um, they've got a little coffee bar there that seems to be doing good business, they'll, they'll pretty much make back their stand price at the rate they're going. Audi has stacks of stuff, you can see up, uh, up at the top there, there's the new Audi A1. Um, it looks like an Audi but smaller. Um, and it's one of those one of those smaller cars which everyone is just flocking around. Um, Hyundai did quite well there. They seem to be right beside Ferrari. Um, Infinity, Infinity seem to have something stuck up their asses to be quite honest. Uh, they're a jumped up Nissan and they're not letting people on their stand really. Uh, they're pretending they're Jaguar, who are actually being more generous about it. There's uh, Chevrolet, which is a bunch of DUs, mine and a, and a Camaro. And uh, Mitsubishi um, have some stuff. What you can't see is Dacia, who actually are a, a discount Romanian brand. Um, they've actually got an off-road of the new Sandero on, uh, not Sandero, Duster on their stand, which even has windy windows. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, as I say, it's about five to one, and I'm considering heading off for a, a swim and a, a trip through the, the hotel gym. Um, right, this is just kind of one hall of about four of the same size and same busyness. So, I got